Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to talk to you guys about something that is probably going to be a sensitive topic because a lot of people are a fan of Himawari Uzumaki and I haven't seen the Naruto Shinden episodes because I'm waiting until they do all of them. I'm going to sit down and watch the episodes and see how they differ from the uh, Naruto Shinden novel, though I've already heard they've taken some great liberties with that. But I bring that up because... Everyone's talking about how episode 93, Himawari is just so adorable and so cute and cuddly. And people are like, I just want to jump through the screen and hug Himawari. She's so adorable. And in the Boruto manga, Himawari is a character who's getting a lot of shine right now. She's getting a lot of shine. She's being brought into the, the manga in ways that we have not seen her get screen time in a while. And all that culminated in the newest chapter. So with that being said, I am going to give a small spoiler warning to the anime only viewers i'm gonna give a small spoiler warning that this is gonna have spoilers in it so if you don't want to be spoiled by anything uh, i'd recommend clicking off i i think it's okay but this is at the same time i can see why some people would say this is a pretty big spoiler so i'm just gonna ask you guys to use your own judgment but with that being said if you're still here i'm gonna assume you're okay with me talking about spoilers so in the last chapter one of the strongest strongest comments that i got and comments i've seen all over the place is people are saying delta must die for daring to put her hands on the princess that is himawari the big bubbling oozing bundle of cuteness everyone's just completely triggered by it and for those of you who have not read the chapter essentially what happened is delta attacks boruto then she uses Himawari as a way to attack Naruto. And she shoots these beams that would have killed Himawari. And what makes these beams so special is they stop someone like Naruto who has the ability to regenerate. And so essentially Naruto wouldn't have been able to survive that attack. Or if he did, Naruto wouldn't be able to heal himself. And so with the way that Naruto's freaking out, it just shows you that that was an attack that probably would have killed his daughter. And that's been something that a lot of people have you know, been asking like, man, are they really okay with killing off Himawari? And then you have people saying, well, if something happens to Himawari, Boruto's going to snap. And that, that brings me back to episode one or chapter one of the Boruto manga, which is when you have Boruto saying, Kawaki, I didn't think you would go this far. And you have that faraway look on Boruto's face. I mean, all of us were saying like, oh, destroy the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh, sending Naruto wherever he sent him. Well, let's just look at this for a second, right? Let's just look at this for a second. What if, what if the reason why Boruto has that faraway expression is Himawari gets caught as collateral damage and that's something that is fair to be brought up because Konoha has been destroyed it's in shambles and Himawari not a ninja she doesn't know ninjutsu she can't protect herself so I mean if she doesn't get to Hinata quick enough if she doesn't get to Naruto quick enough I mean you don't know what could have happened and the fact that Kawaki has been in the Uzumaki household and he's seen how Naruto dotes on Himawari and how quickly Naruto moved to protect Himawari from Delta's attack. Kawaki's probably going to remember that and say, people are saying, well, how did Kawaki defeat Naruto? That might have been how. He might have used Himawari against him and he might have taken things a step further. You don't know. But I mean, I feel like this is something we need to talk about. Could Himawari Uzumaki be dead? I definitely think that it is a possibility, but at the same time, I'm keeping real with you. I don't think that they're going to kill off Boruto's sister. I don't think that's going to happen. And it's not because I think that, you know, she's a cute character and all this stuff, or because she's a character that's gaining popularity. It's, it's not that. It's just I'm looking at it from a narrative perspective. To kill off someone who is that close to Boruto and in the same generation as Boruto, in the same generation, there's an age gap. I mean, they're still in that same generation group. And so... To kill off somebody like that, I, I I feel like that would be going against what the Naruto franchise usually does. Like Neji to Kishimoto's own admitted, Neji was only killed off so he could justify putting Naruto and Hinata together. He was supposed to play Cupid. Otherwise, Neji wouldn't have died. That was, that was one of my problems with the Naruto war arc is that you didn't really have any real casualties. You had fodder ninja dying. Well, Konoha has been getting destroyed left and right. I mean, it's happened. Like, Konoha has taken a bunch of L's when you think about it. Like, when Hashirama was there, Madara came back to attack, and then the fight ended up being in the Valley of the Inn. Sarutobi led the ninja village through two ninja wars. Three, technically, if you count the fact he took over during the first great ninja war. Minato saw the village being attacked by the Kyuubi. 
Saro Toby saw the village being attacked by Orochimaru with that joint invasion of the Sound Village and the Sand Village. Tsunade saw the village getting attacked by Pain. Kakashi, the moon was happening, and now Naruto. You have this scene here where Kawaki apparently just blew everything up. And because it's happened so much, we do have to have a significant character die because at this point, it's just a running gag. Oh, you're the Hokage. Well, how are you going to handle the crisis of Konoha getting destroyed? Let me know, man. How are you going to handle it? What's your position on that? Are you going to build a wall to protect Konoha? Like, everybody at this point it's a running gag everybody's aware of it and i feel like the one thing that can make this different is if you had a significant character die and i think that's why they open up the door for naruto to potentially die but i think that if you go with the route of himawari i think that's a bad idea i know it's like blasphemous so i'm just like wait a second so naruto can die but himawari can't die yeah i'm gonna say that because Naruto can fight. Naruto can be put at a disadvantage. We've seen in the battle with Delta that he's willing to put himself in a disadvantage if it gives him the tactical advantage. Well, Himawari has no say so in it. And so if you go the route of having a significant character who cannot defend herself being killed, I, I, I really feel as if that's going to be too much for Boruto to come back from. I really feel as if that's going to be too much, man. But I want to know what you guys think, though. Do you think that Himawari's dead? Where do you think she was during Kawaki's attack? Do you foresee any scenario where Kawaki, because of his relationship with Himawari, because of how they bonded over that flower vase, when Kawaki's attacking, he's going to look at her and say, ha, ha, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Hey, hey, Himawari, hey, I remember you. How's that flower vase doing, girl? Oh, that's awesome right there. Okay, hey, make sure you go grab the ramen bowl. Get it from Ichiraki ramen because i'm about to blow that place up in a second but make sure you get that ramen bowl and then i need you to get out of here yeah yeah konoha yeah i've seen it i've seen a few villages since apparently i've left and become this evil rogue ninja but hey you i like you get out of here and then boom the village gets blown up we don't know how that happens right we don't know how that happened but i really feel as if that could be something serious though that Kawaki's relationship with Himawari is going to be something that is going to be the linchpin for him and Boruto. That's why I don't think that you're going to see a scenario where Himawari dies. And if she does die, it's going to be used to bring Boruto and Kawaki together. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.